All right, so today we're going to make a video of clothes. Today we're going to make a video of um, what to wear. Uh, do we have enough space for you? Okay, what to wear on a ski trip. I would recommend. Um, well, well, I'll start and then we'll see. Uh, you can add to what you think, okay? First of all, we have uh, the base layer. The underclothes. The, the base layer is a need to be breathable and it must be dry fast. So on this, we have a um, these sets from uh, Costco and we bought it for about uh, $10 per set. So since it's about only $10 per set and we can wear it at home, um, I actually bought the girls um, seven, no, about seven to 10 sets each. And we brought, um, since we, because we can wear it from home in Texas, and we can, we do wear this at night to sleep as well. So yes. after a long day of ski, they take uh, dinner and um, shower and they change into this, to sleep in this. It's really so comfortable. It's, it's comfortable and it's breathable and uh, it's dry fast. So, um, and it's cheap. It's about eight to $10 a, a set. So the next, what do you guys add for this? It's really comfortable. You can get it's cozy. So the brand of this is 32 degrees heat instead of 32 degrees cool. So what I would, um, why I would recommend this is because it's breathable. It keeps you warm mm -hmm. under. Yeah. Cause, yeah. And then also you can, um, it's easier to fold. So if you put it in luggage, it's like so thin that you can fold it so many layers and have like yeah in a small compact space so you have more right. room to pack your ski pants, your gloves, yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. It's so I, thin. It's so warm too. I and packed like um, 21 sets today and it's fit in um, a care carry on luggage so 21 sets seven set for you seven set for you seven set for me i wear extra large and kids so it's perfect for us all right the next thing that i wanted to talk about is socks ski socks is a must and um, we have gone on uh, a few trips before and the first few trips i was being cheap so i went online on amazon and buy them you know the ski socks the yes a wool ski socks uh, I think I ha still have it right here. These ski socks right here doesn't work and it doesn't keep you warm. So do not buy this if you are looking to um, keep your feet warm. Even if those, it doesn't work. I bought this until the last season. Yeah. And so, and uh, I kept on complaining. It was so cold. Yeah. But this year, we but I was being used... cheap. Because these are so, uh, the actual ski socks are expensive for me. So we, we borrowed it from our... No, uh, I actually bought these. These are $28 a, a pair. Um, so it's, and we have, we need seven pairs. In fact, we should not need seven pair per person for a seven days trip. We, what you can do is that you can, um, uh, wash them at night and wear them during the day so you probably need like two pairs but um i decided to buy uh, seven. seven pair for each of us just in case like one day. got like both pairs got wet yeah. you would have extras yeah, yeah. and and but, this sock if you ski this hurts yeah this hurt when you ski and it doesn't keep you warm these make a big difference uh that's why it's uh 28 a pair versus 12 dollars for six pairs on they're, this one they're thin and warm and your um uh the socks is so important even when you have cheap uh, snow boots but you wear these socks you're still warm yeah but then uh, but you, but if you have good a snow boot but wear these the cheap or the regular socks these to say snow wool sock but i don't know what they are they're not warm at all but these are lifesaver when your feet are cold everything about your body is cold 
but when your feet are warm and toasty, it's nice. And these are very breathable. So highly recommend investing on um, good pairs of ski socks. So what I would, why I would recommend these socks is because they're long. So they could cover up most of, about up to your knee if you stretch it a lot. And then for, um, it would warm up your whole, like whole bottom part of your leg. And then second reason is because it will keep you warm in any situation. Even though it looks very thin, unlike these wool socks, they are very comfortable, not very itchy. They can like sm um, put on easier, unlike these. So these um, socks, like I don't really like the rough surface on the inside. Cause see here, it's mm -hmm. kind of like a yeah. rough and if, like it will turn out soft when you buy it, right? And right. the stripes. But if you after one wash, it will like hurt you so much. You will get rashes on your toes. Yeah, I bought um I think twenty four pairs of these right here, and they're all going to trash after one season. And there's so many strings that they might get stuck in your toenails. If yeah, you have long nails. And uh, the kids were cold wearing those. The next thing I do want to talk about is uh, the necktie, the neck tube, and the balaclava. It's a um, gator. Ga People call it gator or neck tube. It's important. You must have it to cover your nose and um, your, uh, right there, here we go. You girls talk about it. These are not, it's important to have, but it's not important to have like, Good one or bad one. You can get these for um, like Costco and the fine. Talk about that while I'm going to get some um, goggles. So now uh, we're going to talk about gaiters. Yeah. Now, can you demonstrate how to put them on? So to put on a gaiter, you sometimes, depending on what you are preferable, because if you're hot all the time, then I would not suggest this fuzzy one. <laughs> but my sister really likes this fuzzy one because it brings her more heat, right? I also like this one. She also likes this one. It's also fuzzy and on the inside, but it also covers her top part of her head and ears, so it will um, be more comfortable. So these these two are, uh, my sister says these two are a must-have, but this one I wouldn't really recommend the one I have because it's yeah, so because if you stand up they're not gonna be on them um... because it's so thin that you can like it won't protect you from anything this one doesn't protect you from anything unlike Mia's and um this fuzzy one if if you are like so active and you're always hot I would recommend this thin one for you if you are always cold not very active like um me sometimes you, I would prefer this one or this one over here. Sit down, cause don't stand up. All right, but the reason I really like this one is that when you get all cold, uh, when you put them on, um, you can turn to different area to your mouth. So you can put your mouth right here, and then you can turn right here after it get wet. Or cause you know when you when you're skiing and cold outside, you get snotty. <laughs> <laughs> And then you can turn that around. <laughs> These, you have to basically have two for each person. At least, we have a bunch of these and we buy like one after another. You can buy these at Costco or uh, this and one is a Burton. And I, <coughs> Mia loved these. Mia wore these for like three days straight, but I had to take it off for her to wash it. Okay, so Mia, put this on for me real quick. Put that on back on for me. I'll show you. These are great. However, once this part right here, which it will get wet because you're breathing into it all day, you get wet, you can't change it. And like this one, you can just switch to different area and it turn. So that is that um, face and mouth cover. So we'll do the next part is um, gloves. Super duper important. These are the gloves that uh, Hannah and Mia wore the most while the, in the mountain. And it's the only the gloves we had. Well, 
You wore the, the burn um, camo one too. No? Yes. I didn't wear those. I only wore these. Uh, let me take a picture. Uh, let me show you the picture later and prove to you that you no, wore it's, the No, it has to be this week. Okay, I'll show you because this you didn't take this out until the third day. But we have like quite a few for each person. Um, because gloves get wet and so I, you have to have like at least two per person. Sit down, because when you stand up, it only show half uh, <laughs> on your neck. It doesn't show your face. Um, the two per person, because for kids, number one, they lose it all the time. Um, you have no idea how many gloves I see on the um on ice on um on the mountain and on the walkway. Uh, so these two, we have the, this one is Dakin, and this these are Burton. Um, it's important to buy the ski or uh, snowboard gloves because if you buy the one from just Costco, which is we are a Costco family, will favorite uh, Costco is a favorite place. Not really. Um, yes, it's, I think I would go to. Co I like Costco then more than I like Disney. Really? <laughs> Anyhow, um, if you buy gloves from Costco, which is great under normal circumstance, but it's not good for skiing or snowboarding because it's cold. Um, the first time um, we went skiing, the kids had these. I I think we we spent like forty five dollars on these this is really for the kids. But I was not willing to spend forty five dollars on gloves for me for years. Um, a couple day or well, a, a week so i went and buy uh, my two sets of gloves from costco those do not work i tried them it did not work um, it's cold in fact a lot of people um, in the mountain buy them from costco and it what they end up doing is that they go into store um in the mountain and buy the actual ski and gloves there and they are expensive they're like 75 dollars to like 200 dollars pair of gloves uh, so that when you're in the mountain, everything mark up. So the next thing. No, I, I want to talk oh, about gloves. Okay, more. okay. So when you're putting on your gloves and you have a jacket on, I would suggest if you don't want ice in your hands all day, I would suggest putting this part under your jacket. Okay. So you know how the wrist is kind of has a strap and you can like tighten it however you want. Yeah. I suggest putting this part under the jacket and then strapping it in so it could like. Um, so you don't get ice in your fingers. But what I don't suggest is when you're going skiing and you're eating some food on the mountain, which you can do that, you take off your glove and you can't stuff it back in. That yeah. is like a no-no. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You do not want to do that or else you're going to end up cold toes, iced feet, iced hands. Okay, so one thing that's really important is for your uh, for your kids is that uh, you need to help them to put on their gloves um properly if they don't put on properly they're gonna be cold and uh, that's not gonna be good and if they if they don't put on properly and um correctly they're not going to be comfortable so the next thing that i want to talk about huh i want to add on to her. oh okay you want to add on to gloves okay these ones are thin. I suggest you using these ones because they're really warm. Okay, and these are burn. Mm -hmm. I think we spent like $30, $40 on these. I couldn't remember. It's really warm. I, I, I All right, the it. next thing I wanted to talk about is uh, goggles. Goggle is, yeah, um, uh, is a must-have. Girls, stop me. Goggles is must-have. All right, the first few seasons that um, we went snow uh, skiing and snowboarding, and I actually bought these. I bought them um, cheap, the twenty thirty dollar one from uh, from Amazon, which is work, which was working for us at the at the time. But what make a difference between these and the cheap one uh, from um, Amazon? Not talking bad about Amazon, however. Um, there are some products that are not uh is is not trustworthy. properly fun uh, yeah trustworthy or properly function for what is intended for. These are anti <coughs> anti fog. The one on Amazon's also say anti fog. Uh, I 
threw all of ours away already, so I don't have the, the, the old one. It also say anti fog. However, it's not working like the, it's supposed to be because these are um, uh, really anti fog because when the fog come in, it automatically like dissolve and I can see the like when I put it on and all my necktie on and the fog coming in and it just put um it just you can see like a a, a, a set of fog just cover and then it immediately uh, take it away for this kind of lens. Uh, Mia, be careful. Please. Personally, be careful. Any time for me. No, uh, before uh, with the regular uh, um goggles when the fog can come into your gloves i mean into your goggles it um freeze it freeze in there and then it make icicle in there and then you couldn't see a while after yeah so mia um when i wear wear mine um there was like a, a little stuff on the bottom where it had air mm -hmm. the wind came in and my eyes were so cold yeah that part is for the fog to mm -hmm. escape Okay. So that's why it's anti fog for the fog to escape. So, I want to talk about these goggles some more. Either way for me, the fog still comes in and it never comes out with my goggles. Oh, okay. Then so uh, be that, careful. Be careful with this. So, if you, I, person, yeah. if you're going to use a neck gaiter, it will, it will fall down. So, I... Um, like my cousins, I suggest mm -hmm. getting the metal neck gaiter where it will stick to the bottom of the goggles because it, it's made out of metal down there. So it will stay up. If you take off your goggles, it will droop down. Okay, when you, say, when you say the fog, your fog doesn't go away. Does, you, does the fog in your goggles um, freeze up and you couldn't see through the screen? No, it just stays there. It's like a thin fog. But mm. it's enough that I cannot see a single thing. Mm. Like I can barely see. Okay, then I see. have to check out a different thing for a uh, different goggles for you. But these yeah, are the that's what great to for mine. for anti fog. That's what happens to mine too. <laughs> this is gyro. In is, is it gyro or gyro? Gyro. Gyro. Okay, I'm not sure. All right. So the next thing we wanted to talk about is um swimsuit. Swimsuit. It's it's not a a. a it's not um it's not for skiing but stay at a place where you can have a hot tub um, that you can use a swimsuit girl <laughs> a swimsuit to um must bring because after a long day of skiing and being getting in the hot tub it feel amazing and and it even feel more amazing in such an experience if and if it's snowing and you're in the hot tub, I don't know why it's such a great, wonderful experience, but it feels great, especially for folks for, um, like us from Texas. We would never have snowing and being in the hot tub at the same time. So like, that means um, when you like you get that cold sensation over your body, that um, the hot tub, it kind of burns <coughs> off yeah. more when you have the ice so it can become warmer yeah. to fit your needs. Yeah. So these are what we wear um, be well, beside the snow jacket and the snow pants. Um, other people also wear um, mid-layer, which, uh, which we don't really wear mid-layer just because we typically stay by the slope. Um, and our hotel is typically by the slope. So what we do is that we go ski uh, whenever it open. Um, um, the, the ski lift open at night and we go and then we'll come um, and then we'll take a break around noon to take snack in, in, uh, in the shelter area. We at Keystone, they have Summit House on top of the mountain. For like, you can buy hot cocoa, yeah. cookies, snacks, all that type. Yeah, but and we bring drinks. our own. We bring our own. Yeah, we always bring our own snack. We don't buy snack just because it get really expensive. Um, yeah, we we pack when we travel for especially for skiing, we pack a whole bag, a whole carry on of just snack and ramen noodles. Yeah, ramen. But so. we're not going to talk about that. But <laughs> anyhow, um, the reason that we don't wear mid layer is that just was the base layer, 
um, it will help us, uh, you know, we don't go that long each time we go to wear mid layer. So just the base layer and our uh, ski jacket, I mean, our uh, snow jacket and snow pants. And that is enough for us. Well, well, we take a, a, a break at, at midday, at noon, and then we'll go back out and then we'll come home for lunch around like one or two. And then as soon as we're done with lunch, we're out again on the slope. Yes, Mia? If you put four layers, that you're going to be so hot. Like, you're going to overheat. So, what I do not suggest... Do not, if you're an active person, okay? Well, for people that put more layer for mid layer, they usually go the whole day. They don't come inside like us. Well, I do not suggest if you are such an active person and you think it's going to be minus five degrees, right? Uh-huh. You put on like seven layers, including your jacket. No, then what would be very uncomfortable. You yeah. can't ski. No, three so, layers. So three layers, including your jacket. If you're an active person... You are going to overheat. Yeah. Trust me. You are going to overheat. It's happened before. <coughs> yes. So, in conclusion, the um, total amount, of, uh, uh, an estimate of what it costs to be on the kid each day is uh, this one. I'm going to say $10. Uh, you can get it cheaper or maybe a little bit more expensive. So $10? But the standard price is $10. The uh, socks is going to be about... Uh, 45 no the sock is not 45 uh, socks is thirty dollars so ten thirty dollars for socks uh, and um, gloves we had this gloves for like about three years and each year we have about three trips so it, this is a good investment and um, I'm gonna say these are thirty dollars. Uh, that's what I think $30 buy one good one and save forever and the neck gator uh, neck tube um, it, you can spend somewhere about 10 to $20 so I'm just gonna say $10 and um, if you wear that then it's good for these as well but uh, let's talk about the snow pants and the um, uh, and the snow jacket. Oh, no, 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 we're not gonna, girl. Um, you can use that for, uh, use second hand for that. It's, it's, if you buy a different brand, it could cost two, three hundred dollars, but you can buy a cheap one. I had my cheap one from, um, Costco for, I uh, know, not from Costco, from Amazon for, I believe. Thirty dollars, and I've been I've been working out fine for the last few years. Uh, we, hot, but for me, I grow out of it. <laughs> yeah, from Hannah, but for some adult, they may wanted to invest more in a better, um, you know, pants uh, than do. But for however, for the Hannah and Mia first trip, I bought secondhand um, uh, snow pants, and well, we had ski jacket. Uh, that we got from Costco, uh, what was on sale for like ten dollars for the first uh, year. What did you guys like your ski jacket from the first year? Was it the Helly Hansen? No, the Helly Hansen was last year and this year. It was the pink and the blue one. Yes, that was good. I didn't personally like it. Okay, but were you like cold? Was that workable? For it a, wasn't really because sometimes it would get like it's sometimes it's f minus five degrees, okay, down there, okay, mm -hmm. which is true, but it literally goes through me. Oh, okay, so uh, well, the Costco uh, ski jacket, uh, well, the one that we got a couple years ago didn't work out well. I thought it worked out well for them, but it did not. Um, I just didn't anyway, want to skip that. Word. Last year, um, Helly Hansen. Helly Hansen. We bought their jacket for two hundred dollars a piece. So I'm gonna. Um, right. However, you can buy cheaper one. Go ahead, put in two hundred dollars. Um, yeah, uh, you can buy cheaper one, or you can buy second hand. Talk about ski pants. I bought Mia and Hot the first year we got as free. I mean, we got cheap second hand ski pants, which was like I believe. For Hannah's pants, I spent $8. Eight? And, yeah. 
and it did Mia's... not work out well. No, the pink, the purple one that Mia been wearing. Oh, like that's the one that I bought it, for eight dollars. It went through me sometimes, but mm -hmm. sometimes it was just <sighs> not good. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I bought it for eight dollars, and we're still using it. Mia is still using it. So, I love it. So yes, for... Mia loves it. So if she's you're... your biggest being picky. <laughs> for my size, how much would that cost? Um, well, like, I, right now, like, what was my blue pants? Your blue cost? pants was $80. That was a good <laughs> pants. I'm like the eight, other one. $8? $80. $80. So, yes. so you are right, eight or $80. 80. So, $80. I would suggest getting a good quality pants. So, I'm going to write down $80 on Okay. Here. So, what's the total so far? $360. Oh, we forgot goggles. Put in goggles. How much... Uh, these goggles, I believe, um, I bought uh, for 60 or 70 I don't remember. Why don't we say 60 Okay, $60. Goggles, $60 <laughs> for goggles. So what is the total that we have so far for each person for one day? $420. It cannot be that much. Did we spend that much money? No, we did not spend that much money according to mummy. So, but it it is um, for the first time that you're going buying all the things and that the properly. First time it costs a lot. Um, you also need a swimsuit if you're out of Well, a swimsuit you you can just bring whatever you have. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that is the cost of uh one outfit uh to go skiing about 420 dollars you could get more expensive or less expensive but that is the estimate cost for us yes for clothing for and just one person like for one this person. is for me because 80 dollars was my cost mm -hmm. but it would be 80 less for mia plus eight yeah but then if you, after you take more trips it uh, get less expensive uh, or more expensive because you're going on more trips. But the kids love it. The last time um, we went for Thanksgiving and the time before that was spring break. So we typically go Thanksgiving, Christmas, and spring break. We just got home from Thanksgiving trip and we are uh, we're doing laundry. Actually, we just finished laundry and um, uh, we're repacked for Christmas trip. Um, but for our Christmas trip, we don't have to buy all of these again. We, in fact, we don't have to buy anything except a um, our hotel and our um, uh, uh, ski pass. No ski pass. Oh yeah, already we included. We'll talk about that in another video. I think this is long already. So peace out. Peace out. Peace so out. Essentials are goggles, gloves, socks, unders, and overs.